Hello everyone, this is Megan from KenHub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial. In today's tutorial we will be looking at the mucosa and the muscle layers of the stomach. When we're discussing these structures we're going to be discussing them as they are seen with the naked eye or macroscopically. We're not going to use histological slides or a microscope. So let's begin with a complete view of the stomach. Here we can see the stomach connecting to the esophagus and duodenum. We can also see its internal surface and the folds which are called rugae. In the next illustration we can see the muscular layers of the stomach but we'll cover these later on in the tutorial. So the stomach is a muscular bag that expands to accommodate ingested food. The stomach connects the esophagus and the small intestine. It's found in the epigastric, umbilical and left hypochondriac regions of the abdomen. The stomach can be subdivided into four main parts. The cardiac part, the fundus, the gastric body and the pyloric part. The structure of the stomach is similar to the rest of the GI tract and is composed of mucosa, submucosa and a muscular layer. I'll talk a bit more about these layers later on in the tutorial. When we look at the stomach from an anterior view, like in this illustration, we can see the esophagus is the most superior structure. It connects the stomach with the upper alimentary tract. The esophagus is a long fibromuscular tube that connects the pharynx to the stomach. It passes through the superior and inferior posterior sections of the mediastinum. The esophagus then enters the abdominal cavity through the esophageal hiatus of the diaphragm at approximately the level of the T10 vertebra. Here we can see the inferior portion of the esophagus that connects to the stomach. The esophagus is supplied by the esophageal branches of the thoracic aorta. It's also supplied by the bronchial arteries and the ascending branches of the left gastric artery. The venous drainage is provided by small vessels returning blood to the azagous and hemiazagous veins and by the esophageal branches to the left gastric vein. The innervation of the esophagus is complex, but it is mainly supplied by the vagus nerves and sympathetic trunks. The terminal end of the esophagus connects to the cardiac part of the stomach, forming the esophageal stomach junction. Here the stratified squamous epithelium of the esophagus abruptly changes into simple columnar mucus secreting gastric epithelium of the stomach. In the next image we can see the internal structure of the stomach, we can see the rugae that I mentioned earlier and we can see the cardia highlighted in green. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full length video and master anatomy.